lame out your opponent. You can either play hyper aggressive or hyper defensive, and that all depends on how you want to run things. But we'll see, man. It's gonna be time gear and Pokemon, of course. Time gear, God yep. gear, by actually beating two time MSM winner, uh, Illusion Jake. Uh, of course, Jake has been on such a tear these past few months, and yep. especially with, with Steve. But we'll see, man. We'll see. Pokemon is, is very good villager main. I think he also has like a Pikachu and uh, um, Isabel as well. But he's mainly using villager all the time. So this is gonna be interesting. I think this is kind of hard for villager though. Minion can play at that range where he doesn't really care about the projectiles or you know the Lloyd setups. He can still hit him. Like as you can see, like he can blow up the Lloyd whilst hitting villager at the same time from like halfway across the stage. Right. Uh, there's something else. Oh, the up smash. Yeah. The up smash reflector works for the Lloyd as, as well as an option if they ever try to do that. Of course, the villager can like pocket the reflected up smash too, so at least there's some weird interactions like that. But uh, yeah, this is one of those matches where villager is actually trying to play aggressive, like trying to approach Min Min and really, you know, get things to happen, but very difficult to get around these hitboxes, especially with the way Time Gear plays. Like, look how far he is uh, across the stage, like spacing all these moves. Even using the Megawatt too, which is like super hard to punish on shield. Oh, but, okay, almost. That was so close. Bad bowling ball hit, dead Mimin, but big up smash. Yeah, Mimin That's one of like, the some... things that makes Mimin so good, right? Like, she has this all these ways of harassing from all the way across the stage, doing tons of damage or even killing, and then you, yeah. you somehow get in on her? That up smash is insane. <laughs> yeah, the, the, Min Min is kind of like in the space where the Belmonts kind of want to be, but just better, having basically what it's two whips. And if you think about Min Min as a character, right, like having full screens pretty much just could greatly benefit you, especially in this matchup that's Villager, where like you kind of have more of a mid screen and Min Min can just definitely understand where you are and move at the range that you're trying to go to. But yeah, also, yeah, I was going to say, that Mega Wall arm is really scary from the ledge because I've seen a few Min Min's pull it off, and it's ridiculous in terms of knockback. Even then, using it on the shield, just the raw hit stun that you get hit from it is pretty yeah. ridiculous at times. Yeah, it's so good. Especially, even if you parry it, like, most of the times, the Min Min's are going to space in a way where they're so safe, for, even if you parry. Right, right, right. But, oh, finally, Pokemon. Nice. Things in the upper, but geez, already at kill percent from so many things. It's really rough. Nice. That Megawatt Nair is so powerful. But yeah, it's really rough for Villager. Like the Lloyd setups that he wants you know, use to for you know, start his approach. Minin doesn't really worry about that. Like, exactly. He's already at the distance to punish it most of the time. Yeah, speaking of oh. distance to punish, that's a really well awareness from Time Gear because the up smash not only gets rid of the Lloyd, but also stops the pressure from Pokemon, which that's what he's looking for at that distance. So, once again, Time Gear in the great distance, man. That's, that's what we're going to talk about, man. It's going the distance, and Min Min definitely is at a great distance where she's at this moment in time. And Pokemon looking for an opportunity, especially with Lloyd, but not even the nice. forward air, man. Time Gear just knows. If I let this man close the gap between me, he's going to get what he wants. So playing the distance is going to be the key to victory. He's always using those arms. But the one thing I like about Time Gear is he's always mobile. Time Gear always yeah. likes to use no, the tilt and move that's away. The thing. That's the thing. That's why he's doing so well right now, right? He's not just staying in one spot, like using the arms. He's just constantly jumping, moving around. Very slippery. He's just, he's just really good at using oh. his character's range. And nice catch again with the Mega Watt in there to catch the neutral get up. I think that covers roll as well. But, uh, yeah, it yeah. It, it's, it's, it covers a little bit of roll. It just depends on your spacing. But yeah, man, Time Gear taking game one here. And like you said, pretty slippery, right. especially with that bear uh, using Mega Watt bear. So that's really, really hard right there. But Time Gear will take game one. Pokalam losing it here by two stocks. Uh, yeah, that, what's... Was, that was very impressive, honestly. Um, wasn't very many times where uh, Pokemon was able to get much started. He was just constantly getting zoned out in neutral, taking tons of damage. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a really accomplished villager main. I know he has secondaries. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, one of them come out right now. Probably Pikachu. <laughs> Okay, or Rob, or Rob, or Rob, or Rob, or Rob. And that's that's the Wi-Fi special, bro. You lose like it's not even the Wi-Fi special. It's like the Wi-Fi dominance. Like, man, I'm gonna go to the top tier Wi-Fi character. Why waste my time going for a different guy? Like, but I, I don't blame you. Rob is definitely one of those characters that's already strong offline. He just feels top tier online. I'm 
be real with you. I didn't believe it at first, but I think Rob just might be top tier. Like uh, in general, matter. yeah, in general, yeah. I think so. But I, I think, <laughs> I think just online for sure cements that right now. But we'll have to see when offline comes back because he didn't feel top tier offline. I think the only character that made me really feel that way, or I'm sorry, the only player that made me feel that was definitely Zachary, because he just knows how to abuse the character or just knows how to like play every character in the book. But we'll see, man. I have to give it a Pokemon. Sometimes if you have other characters that you know can do better, why not pull it out here? And so far, this is looking a little bit closer because Rob those, does have those tools to kind of close the gap on Min Min, especially being like arguably one of the best donors. Yeah, at least he has a projectile that can just get through all of the, you know, wall of arms, for lack of better words. Also has an amazing tools for edge guarding this character too. Yeah. Right. I do like that Time Gear's got the gyro in hand just, and knows that yeah, I can actually just keep using special special arm in this opportunity. Yeah, and then you can still hold on to gyro yeah, like he's not, that. Yeah, he's, he's using the B arm so he can keep holding gyro while so pretty much all access to most of his moves. I think the oh. only thing he can't do is the dragon laser, maybe? Yeah, no, yeah. Can you still do the dragon laser with I don't, I don't, I don't, the I don't. I feel like you, I, uh, oh yeah, I feel like you can, but you have to switch to it. Yeah, what a great way to actually threaten that angle with Dragon Laser too as well. And holding Gyro is really good because you effectively weaken Rob's laser, but also weaken Rob in terms of having one less projectile to be able to use, which is arguably yeah. the best, you know, tool that's to win the, the neutral. Yeah, that's the best move he has to get in his min min. I think the regular laser is good too, but not as good as Gyro. Yeah, and not as good as full laser too. Like regular laser is not that bad. You know, when all things considered, but Jesus, what a setup for the anterior and that bear. Especially, you know, Mega Wild Bear just does so much knockback. You have to really watch out for it. And then the arms. It's the shield poke, though. Yeah. Nice, nice job from Pokemon. That could have been really bad if you let Min, Min snowball, which this is a snowball character, by the way. One yeah. combo from Min, Min does like 30 plus percent, as you can see. <laughs> like back there, I can't, I just still can't believe like there was the time where just the clip that made me interested in Min Min was like back throw at certain percents and then you just charge the mega wall I'm sorry the laser from the dragon and then that's a, that's a probable kill depending on the stage yeah I've seen some really disgusting early kills with dragon laser they did nerf the hitbox size so it won't like connect from as far as w away but still very strong move and even when you think about it, nerfing a full screen isn't isn't really much of a nerf. <laughs> it's still a yeah. full screen at the end of the day. So Pokemon doing a decent job of staying in this game, keeping things very close. No tech chase there with the down smash. Oh, going for some hard reads. Def he desperately wants the stock. He need like he wants to have the advantage that comes with the stock lead. Really just try to see if you can force time gear to approach. Oh, the, the dragon laser from so deep, man. Man, looking like you're what? the dragon on that one, but fortunately we're only here the ox. Up smash oh, has the anti-air, nice yeah, sees the landing. That's the thing that Min Min kind of struggles in, is actually landing. Lin, Min Min has as bad landing options as the Belmonts do as well, but definitely the fact that she still can oppress you just makes sense, you know, in terms of balance. Yeah, it's rough for her to land, but she also has uh, ways to just avoid being in that situation in general. Okay. This is huge damage, great lead here for Time Gear. Again, locking down the corner of the stage. His oh. arm, crucial parry. Ojanko's going for the fourth throw, of course. Trying to see if he can snag all these jumps. Poking them. Oh, don't know about that back here. Oh, great setup to go for a, a special and then immediately go for special Nair. Megawatt Nair. I'm trying to rem I'm trying to remember like if we call it bear because it's still the B button. Do we call it like special Nair? Do we call I'll just call it Megawatt Nair. All right, double poke. No, no. So much damage on the shield, but not enough to poke through. Okay, oh. nice. Gets out of that situation here. Comes off the platform, looking away to slowly get oh. in. This could be it here. Time Gear looking for the opportunity. Sees that Poke Lime is going for such a high recovery. No read. Empty hop. Poking through on the shield break. And that's it here. Time Gear with the 2-0 over Poke Lime. What a setup. Because that was definitely something we saw a little bit earlier in that stock. That's the thing, man. You can't just keep blocking against Min Min. The, especially the Megawai does so much shield damage. 